we're going to start making ethanol free gasoline. So here's a jug I just drained out of the four wheeler. I'm going to put about four gallons in this container. So I'll have about four and a half gallons in here. It's a five gallon container, not to be confused with iced tea. And now I got two quarts of water. I'm going to add the water slowly so it can precipitate the alcohol. Maybe not so slowly. Okay, four and a half gallons of gas, two quarts of alcohol, or two quarts of uh, water, a little stirring action, and we put the top on. I remember where I put the top. Oh, great. Okay. So, what happens now is the water absorbs the ethanol. And the level right now is interestingly enough the level is almost even with the center of the spigot so there you have it that's pretty cool and then over time that level will build up and when I'm all done I pour off the water which is at the very bottom and when the bottom is poured off, I'll have ethanol-free gasoline. So we'll see how that works after 24 hours. Well, it's slightly higher than half the hole. Uh, trying to shake the jug. Anyway, the water should absorb all the, uh, um, what you call it, should absorb all the uh, ethanol uh, as it goes out of solution. And then the gasoline will be clear. Here's another jar I did earlier, different gas. But you can see the water level. Take it down here. You can see the water level here. So that's already been precipitated, and of course the gas is clear. This right here is the chemical process of the water being absorbed out, making it milky. And after it sits and clarifies, then I'll piss off the water and get rid of the water. And then when that happens, I will have ethanol-free gasoline, which will be kind of cool make my own stuff for my own damn purposes that'll be good the four-wheeler needs it because the four-wheeler doesn't get driven all the time and it tends to sit and breathe and suck in moisture the uh, riding lawnmowers they get driven pretty often as Les could probably guess anyway so this will clarify and it'll eventually be transparent not so much right now but it has to sit for a while and the water has to do its thing. So there we have it. How to make your own ethanol free gas. I can't buy it. The only places they have is like Staunton and Woodstock and Covington and <laughs> uh, Roanoke, all that kind of stuff. Nothing within like 25 miles of me. I think you can get it south of Culpeper, but I'm not driving with 20 gallons of gas cans in the back 20 miles if I can do it this way so there we have it kind of cool get a close-up view here and you can see the level is just about to the top of this uh dispenser now trying to get it level here just about level with the top so that means it's going up some i don't know almost a quarter of an inch which means that the alcohol 
is going into the water, increasing its volume. I got to do some research. I don't believe that the water increases one for one with the alcohol. I think they're miscible, and that means that the alcohol can actually dissolve into the water and the volume of two measures, one water, one alcohol, would end up being less than a, a liquid value of two because the atoms go in between each other. So there you have it. Better than uh, uh, toluene. Something to play with. Another quick fix from Sudden Service. Y'all enjoy. Bye.